In this video, we are going to be going over a mech design to compete with the vaunted Locust, despite being twice its weight. That mech is Hartford Co. Industries' Cicada. A medium mech weighing in at 40 tons, this battle mech was one of the fastest machines designed for its era, indeed rivaling the Locust, a machine which was half of the Cicada's overall weight. The production of this walking combat vehicle, though, was muddled by its origins. First produced in 2740 for the Star League Defense Force in competition with the Locust, the favored pure-speed recon mech of its era, the Cicada was acquired in small numbers to replace Locust losses at that time. Star League pilots found that the Cicada had several advantages over its lighter counterpart such as being more dangerous in physical confrontations with other mechs and tanks, as well as having additional standard firepower. Still, it was never acquired in as huge quantities as the Locust, and its primary factory on Bryant was destroyed during the Succession Wars. It would survive, said Succession Wars, though only barely, before the Hell Memory Core was found, allowing for new production to take place mostly within the Free Worlds League. The Cicada's primary use is recon, much like the Locust, especially in its standard CDA-2A configuration. It was designed to be a more robust replacement for the Locust and offer more weaponry. This results in a mech which is more expensive and largely does the same role. The CDA-2A has a pit band 320 standard engine, allowing it to run a maximum speed of 129 kilometers per hour and giving it a movement value of 12 in-game. Its primary weapon systems are two magma medium lasers as well as one magma small laser. For defense, this particular design is outfitted with four tons of armor, matching the Locust it was primarily designed to compete with. The Cicada is in essence a 20-ton light mech with an internal structure and weight of a 40-ton medium mech and is used for that purpose. There are several variants of the Cicada, though it is interesting to note most of them make substantial changes to the design, typically switching focus from a short-range recon mech to a long-range recon mech with some measured ability as a sniper. The first example of this is the CDA-3C, a modification which appears during the Succession Wars. It decreases the engine to a VOX 280 standard engine to reduce weight on board and make room for a Denal particle projectile cannon which is placed in the right torso. Able to run at 118 kilometers per hour, much faster than almost any similarly armed machine, it is a fast mech with an intensely powerful weapon for its time. In 3049, a retrofit was first introduced for this machine around the time of the clan invasion. This is the CDA-3M. It changes out the Pitband 320 standard for a XL version of the same engine, and with the free space upgrades its offensive capabilities by providing the machine with an Ultra AC-5 autocannon, as well as a case for its ammunition to increase survivability. This mech, in essence, covers the same roles as the CDA-3C while not reducing the unit's speed but this does come from the expense overall of durability due to having the XL engine. The latest iteration of this unit appears to be the CDA-3P, a retrofit of the CDA-3M, which utilizes a lighter 280 rated engine once again, reducing its top speed but replacing the Ultra AC-5 from the prior unit with a devastating heavy PPC as well as equipping the machine with several Intersphere ER medium lasers and additional armored protection as well. Overall, this design is more survivable and packs much heavier firepower. The Cicada's baseline mech is little more than a large Locust, and does that job reasonably well outside of having a higher price tag to essentially do the same job. The real strength of the Cicada comes from its alternative designs, which is different from the other mechs we've gone over so far in this series. From the CDA-3C forward, the Cicada goes from being essentially a heavy locust to being a deadly sniper with real long-range capabilities 
and with speed to be able to change its facing or positioning without any hazards. The weakness of the cicada in all of its forms is its carapace, the outer shell of the machine. With armor ranging from four to five tons, depending on the version, this battle mech is fragile in any era, even for a 40 ton combatant. Or four tons of protection may be adequate, even substantial on the Locust, it is certainly not on a machine that is twice its size and contains an incredibly expensive standard or XL engine like the 320. The Cicada is a fascinating design overall. On the one hand, it is a blazing fast 40 ton mech, especially in the Succession Wars, designed around outperforming a tried and tested 20 ton battle mech, and largely succeeding in it despite its higher cost. On the other hand, it has evolved into a harasser or a sniper with a shoot and scoot ability that frustrates even clan formations when it chooses to engage with them. It will serve its mech warrior reasonably well in any case. Thank you for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. With that, I will catch you in the comments section below.